Hey, what's up guys? I talk World 11 here. This is my full review of the Anchor Ultra Mini Portable and Rechargeable Bluetooth Speaker, which is one of the most affordable and portable Bluetooth speakers made by Anchor. Let's go ahead and see if it's worth your money. So in the packaging, you get pretty simple stuff. You get an instruction manual, a little carrying pouch, which is actually pretty nice, and then you get a micro USB cable for charging your device, which I found would be pretty nice. Now, there's two things to really think about when you're buying the speaker. One would be the portability, and the second would be the sound quality. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is the portability and the build quality. So it's an all plastic build, it's actually a little bit cheap, but that has to do with the very affordable price. It's not too bad, and you can see that we have a microphone and a power button up top, which we'll go ahead and take a look at later because it actually does have some features which can be used to power this device and activate it. On the bottom we have an on and off switch, and then we have a micro USB cable on the back for charging it. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed with is the fact that it does not have an auxiliary in port, which means if your device does not have Bluetooth, you will not be able to connect this to the speaker. Now you can see the speaker is actually on top, so it will be firing upward, which is good if it's below you, but if it's at your level, it will be firing a little bit up and set it right at you. Now, to turn this on, all you have to do is go ahead and flip the switch to turn it on, and then you go back around top, and you hold the button for a few seconds, and this will actually put it in pairing mode. Next, you go ahead and go on your Bluetooth device, and you should find it, something that says btsp 4 and you go ahead and click on it, and it should connect. Now, taking a look now at the speaker itself, we have a microphone on bottom, which is important for making calls. So on top, we have the button, and if you want to answer a call or end a call, you go ahead and press that once. If you want to reject a call, you hold it for two seconds. If you want to redial the last number that called you, you go ahead and press it twice. Or if you want to pair it, you go ahead and hold it down, which will turn it on or off. So now to get to something you really want to hear, this is the audio test with the song I made in GarageBand. Record it with the Zoom H1. So as you can hear by that, with this speaker, you really get what you pay for. For $20, you get an extremely, extremely small and portable speaker, but the audio quality is, well, not very good. You can see it definitely does amplify your phones or any device's sound, however, the quality is, I would say, it's just a flat out bit disappointing. So go ahead and listen to this real quick, and I'll explain what this is. So that is actually what you hear when the device is paused for some reason. So my final thoughts are, I like the low price tag, and it's extremely portable, however the sound quality isn't great, and it does not have an auxiliary port, but apart from that, it's not a bad speaker. 